Hey, this is Destiny from Fate of Destiny. And I've been out camping for the last couple of days and uh, clearing brush, cutting up firewood and kindling. And so I've been able to use this uh, Benchmade Adamus 275 a whole lot more than I had before. And uh, it's a hard use folder, so it's, it's sturdier. It's made with D2 steel. And actually, I'm going to come up and show you what it looks like. So you see this plain edge here, and um, it is coated in Cerakote, so it's a nice hardy and durable coating. It's this Ibert blade. He's known for his like clean, hard use looking blades. This is definitely one of them. The grip panels are G10, the liners are 410 steel, and it has a deep pocket clip and the access locking mechanism. And the thing about this is it is actually, I believe when I talked to the representatives, they said it's the, the strongest access lock they have on one of their folders, at least for the time being. And now, because I've been using it so much, I figured this is a great time for, for some review on it. The stuff that I've been cutting with it mostly is uh, brush, branches, um, chipping off bark for kindling, stuff like that. Because it is made to be a hard use folder. It's not uh, designed to be a really sharp, fine razor edge. But because it's that D2 tool steel, it's really hardy and it lasts, the edge that it takes, it lasts a while. It doesn't mean that it takes a long time to, to sharpen though. So I'm just going to take this piece of paper here and show you what the edge is like before I go and hack up this branch I just showed you. So it cuts pretty clean. And uh, now I'm gonna abuse it and see how well that holds up. But first I need to change the angle of the camera so that you can see. I wouldn't recommend using the bench made for batoning because the, the blade is less than four inches long. And even though it's weighty, it's 7.68 ounces, it's not really heavy as to give you a whole lot of momentum um, for a chopping kind of action like an ax. This is just kind of a, a little bit of a test just to see how well, or what this kind of steel and edge does on this branch here. nice though with this is using it for cutting up kindling especially and clearing out some uh, smaller branches but you can see here I put a pretty solid hurting on this branch and now I'm going to take that same piece of paper I had before and do the same cut test and see how that edge was maintained so again clean cut, clean edge here. So even though it's not designed to be a super fine cutter, it does hang on to that edge for a good long time. I'm going to zoom back out. So the 275 here, the 275 here, if you, I don't know if you can tell by my hand size, it's a pretty thick blade. 
it's very, it feels like it's really solid construction, and it definitely is. It's held up to the abuse I put it through. But because it is thicker, it's a little harder for me to conceal it. It's not impossible. I just kind of have to think a little bit more about what I'm wearing beforehand. For guys, um, any, any pair of jeans, really, or cargo pants, if you're wearing them, this will be easy to just kind of tuck away, especially with that, that deep concealed clip. It just sinks right in. For my little girl pants with their tiny useless pockets, um, it's a little trickier, but I've still been able to everyday carry it on the occasions that I choose to do so. It is a little heavy. It's uh, just under eight ounces, so you kind of notice it sitting in there, but if you're the type who carries like you know your keys, your wallet, your cell phone, this is, is pretty comparable, comparable to that kind of weight. Um, I, because I don't um, have the room to carry a whole lot of stuff, I do feel it, but it's not enough that it bothers me. I just kind of notice that it's there. So I don't carry it every day, um, but I also am not the type who needs to use it for that real hard use kind of stuff. But for this camping trip, it's, it's been pretty invaluable. If you're looking for a hard use folder, the 275 Adamas might be something to look into.